So, you're currently working on Spring 2009 collection. That as well as Resort, which is going to be the uh, first. And as Resort is one of my favorite of all collections. Yes. I love Resort. We're actually having the first Resort LA Fashion Week ever. And that's going to be this August. Oh, that's exciting. It's coming up very fast. Okay, get me front row tickets. I want to see that. Uh, tell me about your um, your color palette for the Spring 2000. Spring 2000 Nine. is going to have, I can't really reveal the exact colors, little. but we're going to have many pastels. Can I guess them? Yes. Okay, let's see. Kiwi? Close. Peach? Pesh? Peach, darker peach. Dark peach. I love dark peach. It's so good on the complexion. Uh, let's see. Mm. Robin's egg blue? Not so much blue this season. Not so much blue this blue's out. Blue's out. Tell Anna Wintour. How do you arrive at your palette? How do I arrive? Well, my procedure is um, a little interesting. A lot of people do this in the designer market. We and my, well, designers, other designers and myself, we pick a theme. And out of that theme, we get all of our inspiration. And a lot of times we have to coming back to the clairvoyant issue, we have to assume and a bit guess what's going to be the next big color. And what happens is a lot of designers end up sharing that which becomes a trend. If many designers pick the same color, that's the new trend color. And that usually lasts between a season to two seasons, which is a year, a whole year for that color. So designers have a god complex, sort of. Yes, yes, we do. That's kind of fascinating. Didn't they do that in that one movie in The Devil Wears Prada? They talked about that? Yes, they're talking about many good issues. I love uh -huh. that movie. It I really it too. showed what is it to be an intern she for a big magazine. She looked hot in that movie. She did. Meryl she Street still does. She looked fabulous in that movie. Um, okay, so th have these colors that you're using in your palette for 2009, they've already been determined last spring or Not something? Not yet. They will be. But you just told me that you're doing kiwi and dark pesh. For result. Oh, for resort, I beg your pardon. All right, all right, very good. Uh, let's see now. What goes through your mind? What's buzzing through your mind when you're designing? Well, a lot. Besides me. Besides you, yeah. of course. You're always on my mind. I know. Same as the song. Yes. Talking about songs, I always have to have music oh, with good. me. And be in nature. Nature really makes me go. Soothing. Yes, it's very soothing and it gives me a lot of ideas. The sky, you know, lakes, nature, bushes, trees, everything. It really comes together when I'm outside and have yeah. some music with me. So do you do your sketching outside? Yes, usually. Mm -hmm. That's that's when I do my best. Okay. That's interesting. Do you go to a special place? Where can we see your Tom Solomon sketching? Well, there's some lovely canyons in the Palisades. Yeah. As well as in Beverly Hills. You might actually catch me going up and down Runyon if you're lucky. Really? Yes. If my luck is with me that day. <laughs> okay, I like it. Let's do. Here she comes. And now, our lovely Benita is going to be modeling for us three pieces: silk gabardine button-down blouse with stand-up collar. Goes with the beautiful high-waisted Bermuda silk Aberdeen pant with slimming leg and slash pocket. And we don't have a sweater. We'll be coming. We'll be wearing a sweater again. And she's got those fabulous shoes on again. Dynamite. Thank you. Let's talk about the opening. Shall yes, we? the opening. Let's tell our, our fans about that. Our fans would yeah. like to know about that. We're yes. opening a show on La Brand Beverly here in Hollywood. Good location. Thank you. Yes. And um, I really wanted to open one in more of central Hollywood other than downtown because it's more of my favorite area. I agree. And um, we will be featuring our latest collection there. And there will be a grand opening where we're going to be inviting some editors among some other guests. Some what? Editors. Oh, editors. Yes. Like Anna Wintour? No, she won't be able to come from New York, unfortunately. But we're, we're going to be getting many LA editors from different magazines and publications. Fabulous. Have you been featured in any publications? Yes. Tell we me. Do tell, do tell. Women's World Daily, Apparel News, um, 
Vogue had a really good review of our last runway show f uh, for winter 2008. They um, really found it appealing. Well, those are national magazines, not just LA magazines. Yes, they are. Right. So that was, say that again. Women's Wear Daily. Women's Wear Daily. Apparel News, which is California Apparel News. Oh, okay, uh huh. And Vogue, British and Vogue. Vogue. A British Vogue, nice. Yes. Have you been in Angelino? magazine? No. Well, I we're haven't. gonna have to call them this afternoon. They will be coming to okay, the opening. Okay, they're coming to the good. Very good. All right, let's see now, what else do we have here? Ha, 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 ha. We discussed the pattern making process and your color palette. Oh, yes. here's a good question now. As far as artists, who are the artists that may have inspired your work? There's many of them. It goes to composers and sculptures. Um, it's a big question, but I would tell you this, as far as designers, I do think Balenciaga, both Cristobal and um, Christian the designer, they have done beyond what most people and other designers are capable of. Balenciaga was the 30s, 1930s and 40s mostly? Yes, mm -hmm. I think he passed away in the 60s and he really did many changes. He accomplished many different um, achievements that people wouldn't be able to have done before his time. He made amazing new techniques of creating garments and elastic the fabrics in ways that people wouldn't be able to have done before. Doing what to it? Elastic oh. actual uh -huh. fabric, which oh was unheard of before him. Uh -huh. Innovative. Yes, very innovative. Uh, what about any special methods that you use when you create your pieces? There's quite a few. Um, I really like to be involved with every aspect of creating the garment because it's so close to my heart, especially when you create an avant-garde garment. You have so many different components, even before sewing. You have to specially sewn a fabric, which we do in-house. We have this past season, we have done a, we have taken a fabric and we have sewn it back up and created the whole new textile out of it. Um, it goes to different dyes, um, combining completely different weights of fabric to give you a specific look and fit. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different things you can do with fashion, most people don't know about fibers that are being um, made, which are more innovative. We've, this past year, we have gotten the um, bamboo fiber, and there's more to come, which is really great. And there's just and a what lot. Is the, what does bamboo feel like? Bamboo feels like cotton, but what's good about it is that it's antibacterial in its nature. Mm -hmm. That's one of its qualities. I've heard of that. Uh -huh. So it's gonna get it more time to get dirty, which is wonderful. And even when you wash it, it's gonna get, it's gonna last longer. Huh, well, Yeah, it's all very right. airy as well. Very good. Well, it's about time. She's back, ladies and gentlemen. It's lovely Miss Benita wearing, which outfit is this now? This, this? yes. Zahal influenced Israeli Defense Force inspired cocktail dress with sheer layered panels. That's stunning. Sheer construction effect achieved by inner lining of charmeuse and organza silk layering. Now I'd like to mention that Sahal is the Israel Defense Fund, which stands for in Hebrew, Tzva Haganah Israel, Army for Defense of Israel. Say that again. Sahal, Tzva mm Haganah -hmm. Israel, which means the Defense Fund to protect Israel. I'm just glad I didn't have to try to read it. Yes, okay, we're glad. Oh, that's just stunning on you. All right. Thank you, Benina. Israeli Defense Force inspired cocktail dress. I mean, he thinks of everything, this one.